Welcome back to A Northwest. Our next guest is here to fill us in on some nonverbal cues we might have missed at Sunday's Oscar ceremonies. We're happy to welcome back behavioral investigator Vanessa Van Edwards. Good, Good to see you, Vanessa. Yeah, today's right. a fun topic. So. Uh, yes. it, it, it was fun because there is a lot of body language. Obviously, these people, they want their presence to be noticed. So let's start with, I, I think probably it's the most nonverbal moment of the whole night, and that was Jennifer Lawrence. Right, so she, so I, I love Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm with I, you, you're not you alone there. Nicholson. I, <laughs> yeah, that was so sweet when she fell, you know, oh gosh, that was mm -hmm. so cute. So at the very beginning of the show, um, there's sort of, he's teasing her, Seth MacFarlane is teasing her, and she goes like this, and she covers her face, and that is the ultimate embarrassed mm. body language. Um, we do that uh, because we actually want to block out what is happening. Right, we it's don't want to be there. Exactly right. right. So we, we had, she actually covered that, and we saw the same thing happen during Seth MacFarlane's uh, little intro speech when he was um, teasing, and, and he, Daniel Day-Lewis also covered his eyes in the exact same expression. So there you go. So, so funny. You, Interesting. You see this all the time, and, and by the way, this is a great way to know if someone is genuinely embarrassed or not. Um, so some people, you know, they have very high tolerances, and they'll be like, oh, yeah, that was so embarrassing. But if yeah. they're like, oh, that was, that was so you embarrassing. Yeah. That's real embarrassing. Yeah, because to say it, then you think, hmm, are you really Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, Charlize Theron, that was during the little uh, funny little bit that they did. Right, so they did a song, and I think that they kind of uh, embarrassed Charlize, and, and she does the classic, she rubs the side of her forehead with the tips of her fingers, and that is a shame gesture. Um, and they talked about her being topless in one of her movies. And so I think she might have been a little bit ashamed. That was a little secret reveal there of maybe well, she I, wasn't so proud I, of that. I choice. thought that was a that was a bit um, where they, they so she knew it. So she's using her acting skills. Yeah. So though this is actually great. So you know, I do the Grammys and the American Music Awards right. and the Oscars, and there's actually less that happens at the Oscars because they're professional actors and they're the best in the business. They're the best, they can fake it. Right, so I, I would not be surprised if Charlize Theron knows that's the universal body language yeah. for shame and did that as a part of oh, her of her cue. So there was this was actually a pretty mild show compared to the Grammys, which we did a few weeks right. ago. Right, right. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, Christopher Waltz, uh, who won who won Best Supporting Actor. Yes, so um, he, he's fantastic. And you know everyone in their speech says, oh, I want to honor my fellow no nominees. But actually, Christopher Waltz not only said, I want to honor you, he then bowed. He actually fully bowed down, almost horizontal to the, to the ground. And this is the um, ultimate body language of, you are, I am submissive to you. Um, and we do this um, in a, from a biological perspective because the people who we believe are more important than us, we want them to actually seem taller. Um, oh. So I, I think this is one of the most genuine signs of modesty and humility that we've seen at the Oscars in a long time. So that's how you can know if someone really feels like they're modest. You know, that makes a lot of sense. The people that bow to the queen or in karate when they bow before they But start in those a situations when you bow to the queen, it's because you are obligated to. You're yeah. expected but to. And that is, comes but, from that. Yeah, yeah. But, but when you do it, you know, uh, unprovoked, it's yeah. it, exactly. far more genuine. It's, it's very, very humbling. And also you'll see this if there's like an alpha in the room, mm -hmm. someone who's sort of an alpha male the other people in the room will kind of duck their head to them. That's because biologically we're conditioned to let them seem taller than us. Which is kind really? of Really? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. Uh, also, Braves, Catherine Serafian, is that right? Yeah, I think so. So she, um, I got a couple readers who emailed me and asked, you know, Catherine Serafian for Brave, her, um, you know, colleagues were up on stage. Why did she look so sad? Was she sad that they won? In extreme moments of happiness, right. they often come out as tears. I know that's a crazy thing, but sadness and happiness, when they're in their extreme form, look the same. That mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. it's, it's you know, people it's cry the, happy tears. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or, yeah, as Oprah likes to say, it's the ugly cry when you're just like so happy, but it's the ugly cry. Right, and so if you see someone crying in a moment of extreme happiness, it's not because they're actually sad. That They're the same in that extreme emotion. Right. All right, let's look at the next picture and tell us what we're seeing here. What is this? Okay, so um, this is uh, the cinematographer Claudio Miranda. And I, sh I, I think he's a great example of someone who is really, really nervous. You know how celebrities get on stage and they say, oh, I'm so nervous. Right. A lot of the times they're not telling the truth. They're just saying that. Now, Claudio Miranda, he was gripping his Oscar. You could actually see him rubbing it. And then he actually went <sighs> at the end. And that's yeah. a, a, a biological response when we're very high adrenaline, when we feel like we've just narrowly escaped something. You'll see people after a car accident will well, go, Sure. Yeah. Right. So he actually, I think, was really nervous. If you want to see genuine nerves, compare him to the other people, and you'll see that they're not. That's a, that's probably nerves. a good self cue. I'm just thinking. I, I golfing. You make a putt. <sighs> 
Right. Tells you before that you were probably too nervous. It, it, you need you're to learn to relax. Attention. If you need to relax. Yeah, it's a biological cue, and also sometimes um, if some if you're in a tense situation and someone does that, you might want to go back to that situation because I feel like they narrowly escaped maybe getting yeah, away with something. Right. So. Uh, we have a shot now of Anne Hathaway, Sally Field. Tell us what we're seeing. So this is um, one of the most, the biggest categories. And here's <laughs> Anne Hathaway. You can see the whites of her eyes showing. She was afraid. She did not know what they were going to announce. So she was genuinely afraid of what they, what they said. And then when they announced that she was the winner, Sally Field shows a very brief micro expression of sadness right before she recovers and smiles. Right. So I, I felt really bad for Sally Field in that moment because she's, you know, she's a professional and she recovered very quickly. But you saw her go. <laughs> yeah. Like literally you could see, see it. it. Um, and yeah. if you watch it again and, and there's that screenshot where you but, see her. But you know, as sound. you pointed out, it's it is it is interesting how they're the pros. Quickly, Kristen Stewart on stage, she a lot of controversy about her, a lot of tweets. Yes, yeah, she um you know, she was kinda out of it and um her cues are a little bit off. And I don't know if that's because socially she's a little bit off. She looked really uh, dowdy, um she was missing things. It could have been because of her leg. Um, I don't know. I don't know. think she ever wants you know, to be there. She never looked happy. She never looked pleased. Yeah, I think that she, PR, they sort of forced her to be up there to, to get right. stuff, but she does mm -hmm. not enjoy it. All right. Always good. I love your insight. Thanks. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you.